So I just thought I'd explain a little bit more about 10 to the n and actually what this means. Now, um, 10 squared is the same as 10 times 10, and that's equal to 100. Pretty straightforward. And if we think about what 10 cubed is, that's just the same as 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. Now, going back up, if we have 10 to the 1, well, this is a bit like saying it's just 10 on its own. So that's 10. What about 10 to the 0? Well, that doesn't really make much sense. We're not like multiplying it by anything. But 10 to the 0 is a bit like having 10 divided by 10. And 10 divided by 10 is just 1. If we go back another stage, we've got 10 to the minus 1. Now, 10 to the minus 1 is the same as 1 over 10 to the 1. It's just something you might find out a little bit more when you do your maths. Now, 10 to the 1 is 10, so that means this is the same as 1 over 10, which is 0 0.1. As we go back to 10 to the minus 2, this is the same as 1 over 10 squared. So that's 1 over 100, which is uh, 0 0.01. So this is why when you have a negative number, it makes the thing that we're multiplying the, uh, the number m by even smaller. So for example, if you had 2.6 times 10 to the minus 2, that's the same as saying 10.6 times 0 0.01, which is equal to 0 0.026.